Last year when I was here, I think I said it looked a little bit like 1994 in the sense that we had the potential for interest rates to go up and earnings to go up, but for the markets to be flat or down, just given um, the Fed's tendency to raise rates and what that does to the way people value risk assets. Um, right now, I'd say it's a very mixed picture from the fundamentals. But when you think from the bond markets where we primarily participate in things like high-yield leverage loans, distressed, et cetera, um, I think there are structural infirmities that remain in those markets that were created by this long period of monetary easing that will make the volatility much higher than we've seen in the past. Is it still all about the Fed? I mean, a, a year ago, if it was the Fed that you were focused on, the market's certainly been focused on the Fed. The Fed sounds like it's going to be stepping back or at least watching to see what happens, being a little more patient with things is the word they keep using. But is it still all about the Fed or are there other issues that are, are rising up that are more important? Uh, that's a good question, Becky. I think there are other issues. I think you have to look at it really in three different parts. There's what's the fundamental economy doing, which is what, what you mentioned. Uh, there's the Fed and what tools does it have to address issues. And there's also the structural problems in the market that tend to make volatility much higher than it normally would be. I would focus first on the structure. Um, because of the Fed's actions in the prior decade, rates continued to go down and down and down. And the result was that more and more assets that had any yield at all were swept up by either index funds, ETFs, or mutual funds. And the problem with those institutions is that they fundamentally offer their investors daily liquidity and they're buying securities that can't be sold on 24 hours notice. And at the same time, commercial banks no longer really make markets. So when something does happen that causes them to sell, uh, the floor is a lot lower than it was before. When you look at companies right now um, that have taken on a remarkable amount of debt over these past years at what seemed like ch cheap prices, I mean, are you now starting to get worried that there's gonna, we're going to start getting into that? We're going to start talking about BK bankruptcy? I don't think we're at that point in the market at all right now, myself. That doesn't mean that we're not going to have the occasional blow up. You can see what's happened with PG&E, obviously. Right. Um, a good example of a relatively stable industry, but where there's been enormous volatility in the bond prices has been the oil services business. Mm -hmm. But I, when I look at the fundamentals, I say, okay, the U.S. is pretty strong. We've seen weakness. You've heard from the IMF. You've heard from Draghi. You've heard uh, uh, from, from others. And you've definitely seen that we're later cycle. And that creates a lot, uh, a lot more fragility in right. the market. Um, For you, I imagine that's opportunity, though. Yes, absolutely. But, but government? I, what about government debt? I, I mean, around the world. Government debt, to me, is almost a bigger problem in many respects but than corporate debt. Can we debt. handle it, considering that, that we haven't printed that? We haven't been debasing currencies. Don't we have some room with inflation that, to, to, to sort of, over time, absorb all the... Because the, it has to have been built up after 10 years of that. Look, I think the U.S. is probably better positioned to handle its debt burdens in many respects than others. Um, however, uh, the, the instruments of fiscal and monetary policy are both pretty limited in their potency right now. We just saw what happened the second the Fed raised rates. High-yield bond prices dropped, in some cases, quite precipitously for excellent credits. Leverage loans, right. in response, had the biggest outflow period in the history well, of that like market. that sounds like we should be scared, and nobody's scared. Well, not necessarily. They also bounced back really strongly, reflecting the strength of the right. underlying economy. So well, it's mixed Jake bad. Once Jake got backed off. Josh, Josh Friedman, uh, Canyon Partner CEO, thank you.